Hello students, welcome to SYDSC. This is my first lecture with you and I will be teaching you first unit from first paper which is algae and bryophytes. But here I will be teaching you algae and we will be starting with classification of algae. Before we move to classification of algae, before starting the classification of plants, let us study where it belong, where is it located in the plant kingdom. Now, kingdom planting, it is divided into two groups, the lower groups, the cryptogams, the higher plants, the phanerogams. Cryptogams, plant body not very differentiated between two root stem and leaves. In phanerogams, it is. In cryptogams, no seed formation. In phanerogams, seed formation takes place. In cryptogams, no flowering. In phanerogams, flowering takes place. Now, cryptogams are further subdivided into three groups. What are these? Thylophyta, where the plant body is thallus like. Bryophyta, drosy ventrally flattened plant body, shade loving. And ferns, which are pteridophytes. And uh, in both the cases, in bryophyta and pteridophytes, sometimes they are grouped as archigonity because the female sex organ in both is called archigonium. Similarly, phanerogams is uh, divided into two groups gymnosperms and angiosperms. Gymnosperms, where the, uh, the sex organs are naked and in angiosperms the sex organs are enclosed ovary encloses the ovules or ovules are enclosed within the ovary thallophytes are of three the thallophytes are grouped into three groups what are these the algae the fungi the lichens algae are chlorophyllous pigmented autotrophs fungi are heterotrophs they are achlorophyllous and lichens are some total of two means they are where the algae and fungi have combined together and have given rise to a new thallus called lichens. Yes, lichens are very important. You know it already that they are the pioneers in zero sear and at the same time they are indicators of pollution. In bryophytes, in turn, are divided into two groups. They are shade loving. Mostly they are dorsiventrally flattened. So the ones which are dorsiventrally flattened, the plant body or the thallus is like uh, liverworts, like liver like lobes. So we call them liverworts and where the plants or plant body is erect like mosses so they are grouped in muscae and similarly pteridophytes include all the ferns now gymnosperms and angiosperms in phanerogams angiosperms are further divided into two groups monocots and dicots monocots the cotyledons is one the number of cotyledons in a seed is one and in dicots the number of cotyledons is two monocots also have parallel vanation and dicots have reticulate vanation I'll be concentrating on thallophyta first and then I'll be taking bryophyta. In thallophyta, you'll be studying algae and in bryophyta, you'll be studying liver birds. Now, let us see into how many divisions the algae are grouped on the basis of pigments and the reserve food material present. So, we'll be following G.M. Smith. So, according to G.M. Smith, following his classification for algae, he divided algae into seven divisions and these include Chlorophyta, grass green algae, chrysophyta, golden green algae, pyrophyta, yellow brown algae, eulinophyta, grass green algae, phaeophyta, brown algae, rhodophyta, red algae, and cyanophyta or mixophyta, brown, blue green algae. Chlorophyta, the grass green algae, he further subdivided into two classes. What are these? Chlorophyce and Chlorophyce Chlorophyce comprises of 11 orders and Chlorophyce of one order. Similarly, he divided chrysophyta into three classes. What are these? Chrysophyce, Xanthophyce, and Bacillariophyce. Chrysophyce comprises of one order and three suborders, Xanthophyce, six orders, and Bacillariophyce, two orders. Similarly, Pyrophyta division he grouped into three classes Cryptophyce, Desmoconti, and Dinophyce. Crypto, cryptophyce, one order, and Dinophyce, seven orders. Similarly, he divided Phaeophyta into three classes what are these th uh, sorry iglonophyta in one class that is iglonophyce comprising of two orders and division phaeophyta he divided into three classes what are these isogenerity heterogenerity and cyclosporty in isogenerity isomorphic type of alternation of generation takes place and it has got five orders heterogenerity where heteromorphic type of alternation of generation takes place and three orders are present and in cyclosporty where life cycle is diplontic type of life cycle so uh, one order is only in this particular group there is only one order in this group similarly rhodophyta division he divided into only one class he included only one class in rhodophyta and what is that one class that is rhodophyce and rhodophyce comprises how many classes two subclasses and seven orders and cyanophyta he divided further into one class only and that class is called cyanophyce or mixophyce according to smith and this group 
comprises of three orders. Part one of the classification of algae. Please watch another video of uh, classification of uh, algae, which is in continuation with this. Uh, and if you like it, please like it, share it, and subscribe it. Thank you.